If you're used to using Beautiful Soup to pass your HTML, but you want to try Scrapey, but you're not so sure about XPath and CSS selectors, you can actually use Beautiful Soup to pass the HTML response that you get back from Scrapey. So what I have here is just a basic spider. This is created from the gen spider command, and I've got my start URL set up here. What we're going to do is we're going to actually use the response.txt object and we're going to pass that into our soup variable and beautiful soup so we can use beautiful soups commands find and find all to actually pass that HTML. So what we need to do is I have already pip install beautiful soup for but we need to import it in. So I'm going to do from bs4 import beautiful soup and then inside our pass function here I'm going to remove this pass here. We can actually start and create our soup variable by saying soup is equal to beautiful soup and we want to give it the response dot text and we're going to select the LXML parser. So what we're doing here is where we're using Scrapey to create the request and we are using all of the Scrapey settings that we can uh, choose and tailor to however we want to work and we're actually just using beautiful soup to pass the HTML. Now this might be useful for you if you have, for example, older web scrapers that you want to migrate to Scrapey by actually just copying the selectors in instead of having to rework them if you know that they work already. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this soup object. This is the website that we have looking that we are looking at, and I'm going to just grab some basic information about these posts. And if we look at the first one, there's the div with the class of post partial and the H4 tag here has the title and there is an a tag with the link as well so let's go ahead and say that the content that we want to scrape content is equal to soup dot find all and we're looking for that div tag which had a class of post partial i think i copied that no i didn't post partial this is going to find every element that matches this and then that gives us an iterable list that we can go through that we can then pull out the individual bits of information. So then we can do for post in content and we want to yield back. So this is where we're starting to get back to more of the scrapey commands. Yield and we're going to yield a dictionary and we want to say our title is equal to or colon soup uh, sorry post dot find because we're using beautiful soup here we are looking for the post with inside the content see it follows it down and we want to find the i think it was an h4 tag dot text which is going to give us the title of the posts so let's open this up and then let's do our scrapey crawl uh, we'll call this one weblog let's run that and see where we get to so we found uh some titles here we go let's just make this bigger and bring this up there we go so this is the first page and we have our title here of each of the uh, posts on this front page of this website here under this engineering uh, category that we're in so if we want to grab the link as well we can say our link is post dot find a and let's try href see if this works we need a little comma there let's clear up our terminal there with control l come up bring it back up a bit so now we should have the links as well and we'll run our crawl command again let's make this a tad bigger and where do we get here so we're actually got our link here um, it's not a complete link but you could easily change that Let's have a quick look at the pagination as well whilst we're here. The easiest way I think to do pagination in Scrapey is to actually try and find a next page link. So we'll do soup.find. Let's go to the website. And down here at the bottom, we can see that this is the this is what I'm talking about here, the next page link button. And I'll see, you can see here that there is a title next page, which is an A. A class and it's got this or it also has the title of next page so we'll, we'll grab that there and we'll come back here so we're again using our soup selectors and we're indexing the whole of the soup in this case not just the little parts that we were after before and we'll do it was an a tag and we'll say that we want to find the title because that was what the part of the selector was called next page and again we want the href 
So we can say then if next page is not none, so that means that if there is something in that that it's found here, we can then do our next page is equal to response dot URL join. So we create a full complete URL, the next page here. And then we'll yield out of this scrapey dot request our next page link and the callback is equal to the uh, pass. There we go. So this is just the easiest way. Oh, sorry, I missed a self. There we go, self dot pass. This is just the easiest way to do basic pagination within Scrapey. You look for a next page link. If you find it, you create your full link and then you visit it and then it just goes through this every time. So I think that looks good. Um, what we'll do now is we'll come to our terminal and we'll do crawl and we'll do dash O for output. The easiest way to output uh, scraped data in Scrapey is just to do Scrapey crawl spider name and then dash o and then the name and the file format and we will do just output.json we'll create a json file with this data so i'm going to run this let's move this up so we can see you can see it all coming by here these are all the um, pages might catch a glimpse of what page we're on no, it's going quite quickly and we can see that we have item scrape count 221 and let's find the pages uh, response count request count 24 okay and come to our output.json file let's remove our terminal we don't need that now and here is all of the titles and the the partial link that we scraped for all of the um, posts on that website so i think that was 22 pages or 23 pages so that's it guys that's how you can easily use beautiful soup to pass in scrapey your html if that's the way that you want to go just need to pass the response.txt into beautiful soup if you've enjoyed this video i think you're going to like this one as well more web scraping different method